Uh, when I come to a new body of water, and, and that's one of the hardest things, you know, I've told people in the past that, you know, professional bass fishing is professional practicers. I mean, that's really what we are. Obviously, you know, obviously we can cast and we can catch them and we might, might cast a little better than some and, and have a few more techniques, but it's the ability to do it in a quicker time period that separates, definitely separates it at the pro level. <clears throat> so coming to a new body of water, what I'm looking for, is, and everybody has, has a basis of knowledge. Everybody has their database in their head from their experience and you know we all might have different databases but you can't be you can't have uh, you know Van Dam's database when you're a third year guy okay you're just not so all you've got is the game you brought and that I think that's one of the things that messes up guys when they travel you go to Amistad you're supposed to throw a big swim bait they travel from North Carolina and they go buy a bunch of swim baits they have no clue what they're doing they get their brains beat out and go back home and 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 they never even tried to do what they do you know and so going to, to tournaments especially you know that's why I try to fish with so many different techniques every place I go I want to run through all of my techniques first and make sure I can't find a way to catch them and then you got the obvious you know you got the obvious start uh, I usually do a lot of riding and looking. I want to see which arms of the lake are muddy. Springtime tournament, I want to find out where the stain is. I may take, you know, a quarter of the first day of practice and really just burn a tank of fuel. I have learned to do that. It takes a lot of patience. Because everybody wants to go find them. You know, we want to put our trolling motor down and, and find a place that we can use in the tournament. But <clears throat> eliminating water on a big body is oftentimes about as important because when you do discover something, then you kind of, oh, I remember the back of that creek stained. I caught them in this one, it stained. I got one more creek to go to, and you've learned all of that. So then I usually start, depending on the time of the year, um, I'll start shallow, you know, often. <laughs> the easy thing about a shallow fish is shallow fish are normally feeding fish. You know, a lot of times you'll find offshore fish, but they're inactive. Normally a real shallow bass is an active bass. So that's a great place to start. And then you can discover whether or not that's the bite. And if not, I start working my way out. But one thing I will do <clears throat> when I get in an area, you know, I go into a creek. If this was a creek arm off a of main lake and I'm catching them on a frog in those mats while I'm here, because almost every place I've traveled to fish live in you know in areas you know this creek will be a good creek the next creek over there's never been a bass tournament one in it ever you know and so I want to just I want to learn not just am I gonna go run to the next pocket and try to catch another frogfish but I'm gonna check the edge probably gonna check the standing timber out here if I see some on the graph I might throw a drop shot in the center of the pocket in other words try to get all you can get out of that wad of fish you found fish on the bottom right here. They're not eating my drop shot. <laughs> <laughs>